Oh, hey, Kyle. Hey, Tara, how are you? I'm great, how are you? Very well, do you mind if I join you? Absolutely, come on over. Hey, did you get a new computer? I did, I picked it up at the Stop -O Mart earlier today. Oh wow, it looks really nice, are you enjoying it? I love it, I actually just finished setting it up. You know, seeing your computer reminds me when we first started teaching, there wasn't a lot of technology available in the classroom. Too true. <laughs> but now it's become a lot more commonplace. So why do you think teachers should be using that technology instead of relying solely on their old types of teaching methods? So I love using technology in my classroom because it makes my lessons more interactive and engaging for my students. And you can just see their eyes light up. They're like, we're gonna be doing something new today, something exciting. It's also great for my auditory and visual learners as well. They might be tired of, you know, those old PowerPoints, the YouTube videos that, you know, we've used for years to teach our students. And so they see something new and they have these websites that they're able to access, simulations they can do online that we couldn't do in a typical classroom. And not only that, but it also enhances the 21st century skills of our students. You know, a lot of our students may not have access to technology outside of school or outside of the classroom. And so it's really important for those students to develop these skills because not only will it help them in the future in school, but also for their future careers. Yeah, yeah, pretty much every career now has some technological component to it. Absolutely. Those are great reasons why. Now I'd like to talk a little bit about the how. How should teachers be using technology? Do they just need to take their old lessons and then somehow digitally replicate them into new lessons or does it go beyond that? So I'm personally a big fan of going beyond that and mixing things up. You know, you do have some of your old lessons that are great and they stand well on their own. So, you know, some of those that you feel really strongly about, maybe you don't touch those. But we all have lessons where we look at it and go, mm, there could be something more to this lesson. So it'd be really great to incorporate technology into those lessons. You know, posting critical thinking questions online that you might traditionally teach through a PowerPoint and having your students research by using, you know, historical sources and verified websites and things that you are able to give them and let them do that research on their own. Yeah, take charge of the learning themselves. Absolutely. So students, as we know, are, are more tech savvy in general than, than we are which can lead to distractions. They might want to be playing a game or get on a messenger app and talk to each other. How can a teacher make sure to prevent those behaviors and then keep their students focused on the actual lesson? I'm so glad you asked that. You know, misbehavior does tend to happen more often when you bring something new into the classroom, especially technology, and it's a lot easier for students to get off task. So one thing I like to do is be mobile when my students are using technology. I walk around the classroom, I check in with each student individually. I can also check the websites they're on and make sure they're on task. I can give them a gentle reminder card and say, hey, please get back on task and just make sure that you're doing what we asked at the beginning of the lesson. Um, another thing you can do is if you see students using messenger apps, and you know, it's not just one student, but it might be the majority of your classroom, you can reach out to the IT expert of your school and say, hey, I could use your help blocking this website for my students being able to use it. One final thing I like to do though, I tend to either put my desk at the back of the room for a day, you know, while we're using technology, or I have all students turn so that I can see their screens as they're working. And you know, if I have to be at my computer to, you know, answer emails or, you know, check grades or whatever it might be that I'm doing, I'm able to also check the interactive digital documents and the online classrooms that our students are currently working on and see what each student is doing yeah. and keep track of them that way. Yeah. That's great advice. Thank you so much for sharing that with me. Absolutely. So funny you mentioned that. I've got something I want to share with you. So I found this website. Just